Good morning. Hey, this campsite is absolutely fabulous. It's much better than I thought it would be last year when I came by just to check it out. This place is huge. Let me show you. Three doggies. We're listening to a woodpecker. So the sunset over here. Just one of the longest days of the year. It was absolutely perfect last night. Perfect temperature. Very quiet. See how big this thing is? You could probably put 10 tents over there. I think the maximum number of people allowed in this spot is eight. Eight people and two vehicles. But look at this. Is this beautiful? Listen to that woodpecker. There's another rock formation here. It looks like a big chair also. <laughs> Hi, doggies. They are loving it. So I've really been paring down the things that I bring, and it's much more streamlined, much better. First I had the bed ball. <laughs> Looks like a ball. It's all the bedding in there. I have a backpack. I have the powder room bag. Two cushions. And that's about it. The cooler bag of stuff for the dogs and that's it streamlining this thing so I can enjoy more so I was just thinking this morning that I don't come from a camping family I think my mom and dad camped one time when they were dating and um, we never camped as kids um, when I was raising my kids I think my son and I went camping a couple times with uh, his youth groups or um, some friends. One time we had a Eurovan MV which has the table and the bed in it and then he and his buddies would pitch a tent outside and we had some fun times camping but we just aren't camping families and I was thinking today you know my parents got to explore the southwest United States in their retirement years and um, I was thinking, wow, I found an even better way to do it. <laughs> it's cheaper, it's easier, and it's oh so beautiful to just camp in the National Forest. I want to show you something else that I had set up last night. So here's my parakeet. His name is Perry. Perry the parakeet. And I have here this metal thing here is a mosquito deterrent. Has a battery in it and gives off a little sound. Seems to work pretty well. And then I have my, my headlamp here, hanging here. So both of those were very handy. I did need the headlamp in the middle of the night. The dogs were jumping around and it was time for them to get outside. So the headlamp came in very handy. Wow, those little girls look alike, huh? Recently, my family had their DNA tested. And we've always thought we were English and German. But we found out from the DNA that we're actually Scandinavian. Which explains a lot. Because I always have had this affinity for trees especially pine trees, high mountains. 
So growing up in Colorado, on the Front Range, we had pine trees, but there was just something about being in the mountains, being in the conifer forests. It just stirs me deep in my soul. And I've always thought it was something deeper than just growing up in Colorado. And now that I know I'm from Scandinavia, where my ancestors were, it all kind of makes sense. The campsite I was at a few weeks ago was surrounded by purple flowers. This one is surrounded by yellow ones. Look at this. Look at that little baby pine tree, just growing by the rock. <laughs> that reminds me of how Jesus is our rock. That rock protects that pine tree from the wind, and it also gathers extra moisture underneath it for its, for its roots. So let Jesus be the rock of your life. Let him be the one that protects you, provides for you, and gives you strength. I saw a lady doing this as I drove by today. Just holding out a bag of potato chips and the beautiful scenery behind. So I thought I'd try it. <laughs> the cool thing about this campsite is that no matter what direction you look, you cannot see any other campers. There are about nine remote campsites in this area. They have them spread out, situated so that you're completely alone. It's very nice. But the rangers know you're here. They drive by every now and then. Maybe not in ranger trucks, but in their own trucks. So they monitor the area, which is good. Perfect peace in the e-camper. I really like ski slopes when there's no snow on them. This is Snow Valley. So this is the last day I get to use my annual pass, my Forest Service Ad National Forest Adventure Pass. As you can see here, it uh, expires 2018 in July, July, August. So next week when I go camping, it will be July. Woohoo! I have to buy a new one. So that's it for today. We'll see y'all next weekend. And remember, Jesus is Lord, and he loves you, and he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Adios. Mwah.